Welcome back to another Canon Expectations. Today we'll be talking about Rogue One, a Star Wars story. The movie about a scrappy, brave little group of rebels that dared to go against the Empire to steal the plans to the Death Star and deliver it back to Princess Leia. Sal, let's kick this off. Back when um, Disney and Lucasfilm announced the spinoffs and they announced their first one being a story about um, the rebels who stole the plans and gave the Princess Leia, what were your feelings? I like prequels, so obviously naturally excited me. And uh, you know, I've never um, been one to not want this type of movie. I'm not one to want the Han Solo spinoff prequel. So, but I think that kind of tells you something. This story is pretty unique in in its um, in the story itself. Uh, so I'm I'm excited, and I I have been since day one. Uh, I can't say I have. Um, up until we saw the first uh, clips, I wasn't that excited about a uh, Rogue One. I just thought, um, well, I don't think there's any spinoff that I'm like really excited about, and this one in particular, I was just like. That was like a two second thing and A New Hope. I was just like, why would you go back and make a whole movie on that very small part? Mm -hmm. But uh, <clears throat> once we saw what they were going towards with this idea of a war film and making it a very different tone in the uh, saga, I got more excited. Um, but it wasn't until I saw like the first trailer, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm ready for that. Even though I wasn't, I wasn't one of those people that needed Vader. Like, I don't know, all these people seem to miss Vader. It's like, you know yeah. what Vader is. Like, I don't miss him like that. I don't know, maybe it's a generational thing. But, I mean, it's cool that he's in it. I thought it would have been weird if he didn't at least show up. But, um, he's going to be in it. I, I, that part doesn't excite me. Just the way it looks kind of excite me. So, I wasn't on board the story. But, it looks like it's going to be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about the hype leading up to this. Um... It had the premiere over the weekend, and then the uh, critic screening was this week. Uh, it is up on Rotten Tomatoes so far, and it's sitting at 82%, actually, with uh, over 130 people who reviewed it. So mm -hmm. what are your thoughts about the, the trailers, the hype, and all the good stuff? Well, the first trailer, obviously, was amazing in my eyes. I loved it. I loved the music that went it went with. It went with the dark side music. And uh, that was obviously an indicator that this was kind of going to be a different type of Star Wars movie. And so far that's all we've heard is that it's different. It doesn't have the opening crawl. Uh, it's darker. And um, so yeah, I don't think it's your typical Star Wars movie. And that's what we're hearing from the critics. Um, from what I read at least. Not, I haven't read too much because I don't want to go in with the preconceived notion of what this movie should be. But um, yeah, but 82% is a little, uh, I don't want to say alarming, but it's a little, it's different than what we've seen with big movies, um, like comic book movies, superhero movies, like Civil War, well, at least the Marvel, Disney side, where it's all 99% or whatever it was, 100% uh, the first few days. And for this to be at 82, um, I don't know what that means for, the, I haven't read the reviews yet. Um, but a, a lot of the stuff I've heard is pretty positive that you know it's a fun movie that is still a Star Wars movie but definitely different and it's deviated from uh, the past Star Wars stuff. Yeah, um, I, again leading up to it before the first trailer wasn't that enthused. After the first trailer, honestly, I mean it was just kind of there. I was like, yeah, it's coming. Um, I, excuse me. I wasn't like seriously over the moon anticipating this movie. Uh, I'm much more looking towards Star Wars Episode Eight. So, but I was interested to see what they're going to do with these spinoffs. And so, uh, you know, leading up to it, I think at the very end, people got more hype because there's a big Star Wars fan base, and um, you know that alone excites people. But I do think it was kind of confusing to some of the fans on where this happens in the timeline, and people weren't sure exactly what this was. So I don't think the hype was that huge for Rogue One, especially coming off Force Awakens that like mm -hmm. shattered everything. So. Uh, I mean, as of right now, though, I think this is the event. I mean, it's getting cold. Uh, it's getting mm -hmm. family Christmas time. Yeah. People make uh, smarter selections with what they go to see. And this is Oscar time also. So those are usually movies the 
majority don't go see. So those big, almost like a summer blockbuster movie in the middle of the winter. The winter blockbuster. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is definitely the thing to go see. So that's big hype. Um, the Rotten Tomatoes things, that, <coughs> yeah, that shocked me. I went on today. And I fully expect it to be at 100%. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. After hearing the initial reactions, uh, in a, granted, the people I like watched on YouTube and stuff were very big Star Wars fans. So, of course, they went to the premiere. So, I feel like all that played into it. But, like, the it was just over the moon, like, comparing it to the original trilogy and everything. So, I'm just like, wow. This, obviously, is another Disney hit. Mm -hmm. Then I see 82%. And it's over 130 people reviewed it already, which a few days before the movie is a huge number. Yeah. Most movies got like 20 people that reviewed it. This has 130, so that's about half the critics already. So I don't know how much this will go up, you know, after it comes out. So I, I don't know. I don't know what that says. I didn't get deep into the reviews. Yeah, but I was going to ask you, have you read any of the reviews that kind of... I read about it? a quick, you know, the, the Rotten Tomatoes has the excerpts, so I read some of that, but yeah, I didn't get too deep into it, I guess, it just, from what it sounds like is that the real Star Wars fans like that read the books and the comics and know all the canon, like really geeked out on it, and it answered a lot, and it added to this, and it nodded to that, but if you aren't that type of fan, then mm -hmm. it might uh not hit you the whole movie it might be more star wars than we think and too much star wars like we 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 were all hearing like it's a star wars movie but it's like a lot different but maybe it's so different it's like like you like you said those geek those people who geeked out the most were the ones that know the most and kind of recognize what's what and you know from outside looking in if you're not a huge star wars fan then it has the opposite effect on you it seems to me like it could be comparable to Batman vs Superman mm -hmm. where you had a lot of casual fans really not digging it but mm -hmm. people like us that knew what the Easter eggs was and the knives were freaking out so it could be similar to that. I'm not saying it's BVS don't you know, take it that way but that's just similar. So um, <clears throat> real quick, when are you planning on seeing it? Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Um, this is the first Thursday premiere I've gone to since Suicide Squad. And before that was BVS. And I think that was only two. I went to Harry Potter, but I'm not sure if that counts. Uh, but anyways, yeah, first Thursday in a long <coughs> time. And 7.40ish, I think it is. And so yeah, I'm expecting a big crowd uh, like the like the episode eight was. So. Do you think it's going to be comparable? So I think that's I the think big so. thing. I think so. I think it definitely will mm. be. I think they are going to be, unless they start doing like really bad, I believe that the Star Wars are going to have the very similar premieres as Episode Eight did. Um, maybe not Huge like number. maybe not the like the like the second uh, installment in a spinoff or the third installment in a spinoff like the Han Solo stuff. But definitely the first ones of, of a new installment, um, new spinoff will be, I think. Yeah, I'm going Sunday morning, actually. Um, going. Yeah, so we like <laughs> traded places. Yeah, and I'm going to IMAX screening, though. I mean, the thought was, you know, uh, IMAX, lesser people, Sunday, less people, morning, less people. So hopefully that's the case. Last year, I actually went Sunday morning for episode eight and the line was wrapped around the building really? when i showed up and i was so upset so i for one don't think it's going to be the same crowd i don't know i'm actually planning to go see a different movie friday so i can uh be in there alone because everybody's watching star wars so hopefully i'll see what the crowd looks like but i just can't imagine this one doing what episode eight did because i was shocked at the how packed and this is when theaters were putting 1 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. showings because they couldn't feel the capacity of everybody wanted tickets. I just don't see that with this one. I don't see it that drastic, but I still think at least a Thursday premiere and Friday premiere will definitely yeah. be the same. Geek night. Um, so real quick, what are you expecting out of this movie? Uh, in terms of just general? Yeah. Uh, I hope it's dark. I hope it's as dark as people are saying <coughs> it's going to be. And because I love a dark movie, uh, so the darker the better for me. And uh, not too much. I, de uh, I definitely want 
some sort of like appearance by like I don't know Hayden Christensen or oh. or like oh, um, even McGregor at like the very end or something something like that to to nod to the prequels because they don't get enough credit you know they don't so we'll see if that happens um, but I don't know but that's about it just a dark movie that that uh, tells a complete story. You know, I'm looking forward to a war movie. All the buzz out of this. Seems like Gareth Edwards' vision actually came through. We had a lot of reports with reshoots and adding levity. And we were scared that it might not be the war movie we wanted. But it sounds like that's what it is. It's gritty. And it, there's some surprises. I obviously don't know what they are. But it sounds like this isn't your kids <laughs> Star Wars. So it sounds like they did some things in there that... You'll be wild about. Someone get their head blown off. <laughs> I, I, you know, might be, but I'm just really looking forward to the visuals. I think uh, <coughs> out of any Star Wars, this looks the most beautiful. I don't know what Gareth Edwards' tricks or techniques are, but just looking at the trailers, just like looks so amazing. I don't know, maybe it's because he, like, the shots are always up in the air instead of yeah, you know like, at eye level. It's like looking the up star destroyer yeah huge you see the star. the walkers you i want to know why the death star is upside down in some of this i guess they're probably bad it. editing i don't know yeah that's true not bad editing. <laughs> but yeah that's i i got the imax ticket for a reason i expect it to be worth it um yeah i'm looking for a visual spectacle but not like dr strange i think this should have a little more meat than just visuals there should be a story and i'm looking for everybody to die if they don't all die what is it all for? What, like, I, I, there's no way everybody makes it out alive. There's no way anybody makes it out you alive. You think Jen is gonna die? She has to die. We would have heard, we would knew her about her if she didn't die. I don't know. She just like didn't die, was a hero, and then we never heard of her in the trilogy. I don't think so. And this was moments before a new hope. Yeah. So I want to. Yeah, that's one thing I'm too is looking forward to is how close it's come. I mean, I mean, we know the reports that it leads up right to it, but are they going to show us visually how that leads up? So, I don't know how. We'll see. Because I don't know how you do a young Leia. With Vader, it's easy because he's got a mask with Leia. I don't know what you Yeah, mean. I don't know. So, we'll see. All right. So, that is our expectations. Nice. Stick around for that review uh, coming out later in the week when we see it. Let us know in the comments what you are expecting from the movie, when you're going to go see it. Like, subscribe, do all that good things, and stick around for more.